this is not just another YouTube video about the Salton Sea where everyone shares the same information. From the lost ship of the desert to the Salton Sea's very own version of Atlantis, these are the urban legends of the Salton Sea. Let's take a journey. The Salton Sea's reputation as a kind of Bermuda Triangle of the desert grew in the 1940s when the U.S. Navy built a test base out here, and they have officially recorded 24 individual fighter planes going down in the water that remain there to this the day. The lost ship of the desert. On November 12, 1870, the Los Angeles Star newspaper claimed that a prospector had hit the mother load when he reported he had found an ornately carved Spanish galleon with crosses and a broken mast somewhere out here in the desert. Now, three weeks after this, they reported that he had returned but could not find it again. And a following 10 years later, when they checked up on him, he had remained out here continually, probably for the rest of his days, to look for this Spanish galleon. Now, this does coincide with some reports going as far back as the Civil War, when some runaway slaves made their way out to California. There were reports of seeing a ship in the desert sands. So really, you can't come out to the Salton Sea without visiting Salvation Mountain, which is one of my personal bucket list items. So let's check it out. the brainchild of a man named Leonard Knight. He came out here in 1984 and for the following 28 years continued to paint and create this mountain. It's covered with all different kinds of Bible verses. It was just about his faith in God and he wanted to share that with the world. So it's really a unique, incredible, monumental piece of art. I've been wanting to see this for years. So let's check it out inside. He 
hats off goes to uh, Leonard Knight for creating this, but you have to give a certain amount of respect and acknowledgement to the volunteers who maintain this place, because he passed away back in 2014, so that was five years ago. And they, especially in this harsh desert environment, they work at this to get these colors so bright and vibrant and true to his original vision. So truly, uh, hats off to the volunteers. Big time. And really, at least to me, you can't come out to the Salton Sea without paying a visit to Salvation Mountain. Um, as a way, as a contrast to the desolation out here, this sense of uh, lost hope, you have something like this kept uh, alive by the work of volunteers, keeping one man's vision alive. It's just really amazing. I recommend it if you're passing this way. One of the other enduring mysteries of the desert is the Blythe and Taglios. Uh, gravel etchings placed way out in the middle of the desert, about 15 miles north of the city of Blythe. And archaeologists have surmised they're about 400 to 2,000 years old. Uh, they just haven't really decided exactly who was who was it that made them. You know, a lot of people say it was certain Native American tribes. Other tribes say, nope, wasn't us. And there are the theories just because of the size of them, like, even if they were made a thousand years ago, why would they make them so big when they can only be seen from the air? So then you have the ancient alien theory. Decide for yourself. And there you have it, the urban legends of the Salton Sea, and as a bonus, the Blythe and Taglios. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, comment, share it with a friend, and just so you can catch all of my videos, be sure to hit subscribe and that little notification bell. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the journey. So, one of the more popular enduring theories, so scientists don't put a lot of credit into it, is one of the ancient aliens that the locals actually made it to appease what they know as sky gods. John? Why the f*** are here? We are here because we have possible alien contact in the desert proof where ancient native people created a drawing to appease their sky god, what we now know as UFO aliens. It's graffiti. Yeah. You don't have TV. You're out in the middle of the desert, you're bored out of your mind, it's hot. Yeah, it's graffiti. I would be bored too. I would make something too. I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. Uh, Alien chupacabra. Okay, all right. It's the desert, chupacabras are in the desert. Those look like aliens. What, you think in Wendigos? There's no signs of cannibalism and they're usually more heavily forested areas. I'm leaving you here. That's fair.